Welcome to my channel. In this video, we will be taking a look at 10 different secrets in Starfield. Make sure to like this video if you learnt something new, and even if you knew all these secrets, that's perfectly fine too. Let's get started. Lord of the Rings Potatoes This Starfield Easter egg is a reward for checking the item descriptions of all the potatoes you can pick up. The potato item description contains a subtle reference to a famous line from the Lord of the Rings, the two towers in which Samwise Gamgee praises the versatility of potatoes. Boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. The in-game item description reads, can be prepared in many ways. Boiled, mashed, used in a stew. The recipes are nearly endless. This is a clever and fun Easter egg that fans of both Lord of the Rings and Starfield are sure to appreciate. Broken Constellation Space Helmet In Starfield, after acquiring your first ship, the Frontier, you'll find a ton of useful items strewn about. One object of note is the Broken Constellation Space Helmet, which has duct tape stuck to the visor with the words, Don't use scrawled on it. If you ignore the warning and wear the helmet, you'll find that the duct tape actually blocks your view. In the right lighting, you can even see the ink used to write the reminder bleed through the tape. This is a clever little Easter egg that rewards players for being observant and paying attention to detail. It's also a fitting punishment for anyone who ignores the warning, as it makes it much more difficult to play the game. The Easter egg is also a subtle reminder of the importance of safety in space. Even a small crack in a spacesuit helmet can be fatal, so it's important to always wear proper safety gear when venturing into the vacuum of space. Apollo 11 Moon Landing Site If you pick up Sir Livingston's second journal on the second floor of the lodge, you will receive an activity that leads you directly to the Apollo 11 Moon Landing Site on Earth's moon. If you jump on top of the Apollo Moon Lander, you can find a snow globe called Apollo Snow Globe. This Easter egg is a fun way to pay homage to the historic Apollo 11 moon landing, and it's a great reward for players who take the time to explore the world of Starfield. To find the snow globe, simply follow the instructions in Sir Livingston's second journal. Once you arrive at the Apollo 11 moon landing site, jump on top of the moon lander and look for the snow globe sitting on one of the landing gear legs. The Apollo Snow Globe is a unique and valuable collectible, and it's a great addition to any player's collection. It's also a reminder of the importance of space exploration and the achievements of humanity. Face on Mars In Sidonia, Starfield players can find a statue called Face on Mars. Interacting with the statue reveals that the face was not real, but people made a statue out of it due to its mythical status. This is a reference to a photo of a Martian rock formation taken by NASA's Viking 1 orbiter in 1976. The photo appeared to show a human face on Mars, and it sparked a wave of public interest in the possibility of extraterrestrial life. However, later photos showed that the face is simply a natural rock formation. The face on Mars statue in Starfield is a fun Easter egg that references a famous conspiracy theory. It's a reminder that even in the future, people are still fascinated by the possibility of life beyond Earth. Monster Costume The monster costume that you can get from Giliana Lakota in New Homestead in Starfield is based on a real-life animal called the Tardigrade. Tardigrades, also known as water bears, are microscopic animals that are known for their incredible resilience. They can survive extreme environments, such as exposure to extreme temperatures, extreme pressures, air deprivation, radiation, dehydration, and starvation. Tardigrades are thought to be one of the most resilient animals on Earth, and they have been known to live on Earth for over 600 million years. The monster costume in Starfield is a fun and unique Easter egg that references these amazing creatures. This costume will also give you some unique dialogue choices during some quest lines. 
Alex Hayes Note. A note in the I Stare Yard in Starfield pays tribute to Alex Hay, a fan who unfortunately passed away before the game's release date. Bethesda has a tradition of including tributes to longtime fans of their games who pass away before the game's release. In Elder Scrolls V, a companion named Eric the Slayer is named after a fan who is given a tour of the studio as part of his final wish. He passed away six months before game's release date. This tribute to Alex Hay is a touching reminder that Bethesda cares about its fans and that it wants to honor their memory in its games. It's also a reminder of the power of video games to bring people together, even in the face of loss. Mantis Quest To start the Mantis Quest in Starfield, you must first acquire a datapad highlighting a secret outpost on the corpse of a spacer. This can be done by killing spacers or looting their bodies. Once you have the datapad, travel to the secret outpost, which is located on the moon de Nebola. At the secret outpost, you will need to fight your way through a group of spacers to reach the mantis lair. Once inside the lair, you will need to solve a puzzle to open the door to the main room of the lair. The puzzle is simple. Simply step on the buttons that spell out the word. Once the door is open, you can collect legendary Mantis armor and board the Mantis ship and claim it as your own. The Mantis is a powerful ship with a unique design. It is also one of my favorite ships in the game. Arrow in the Knee the crippling skill badge in Starfield depicts an X-ray image of a knee. If you upgrade it to rank 4, it will show an arrow piercing the knee. This is a reference to the arrow in the knee dialogue from the guards in Skyrim. Jetpacks can be favorited. Did you know that you can favorite jetpacks in Starfield? This can be a great way to quickly access different jetpack types and combine their functionalities for advanced traversal. To favorite a jetpack, simply open your inventory and select the jetpack you want to favorite. Then, press the favorite button. Once you have favorited some jetpacks, you can quickly access them by opening the quick select menu. Heisenberg Star System The Heisenberg Star System in Starfield is named after Werner Karl Heisenberg, a German theoretical physicist who pioneered the theory of quantum mechanics. Heisenberg was awarded the 1932 Nobel Prize in Physics for his work on the development of quantum mechanics, which is one of the most fundamental theories in physics. Quantum mechanics is a branch of physics that studies the behavior of matter and energy at the atomic and subatomic level. It is a complex and challenging theory, but it has revolutionized our understanding of the universe. The Heisenberg star system is a fitting name for a star system in a science fiction game like Starfield. It is a reminder of the power of science and the importance of exploration. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it informative and enjoyable. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you could take a moment to hit that subscribe button below. Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up by hitting the like button if you found it helpful. Your support really means a lot to me and it helps me create more valuable content like this in the future.